friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are filming my absolute favorite video to film every single month, and that is my picking my TBR. The lovely Miss Rachel Catherine actually started this trend. Pretty much, this is a TBR prompt jar. This jar has a bunch of pieces of paper in it that correlate to, you know, uh, the genre, if I've ever the author before, what's on the cover of the book, how many words are in the title, etc., etc. I pick these, use these to help me pick books off my TBR cart, and that was my read for the month of April. Also, normally I'm like, not very like spring festive on the top here, but I do have my pink sweatpants on. So that's like my contribution to um, spring and good weather. <laughs> I'm really excited about this TBR cart right now because if you guys notice, I don't really have that many books on it. Like it's pretty like picked through to be honest. And what I love is this fantasy shelf is absolutely stacked with series I'm so excited about. A couple of them, like Burning God would finish off one, Blood Trader finish off one, Hellbent would finish off one. Pretty much every single book on this fantasy series I am so excited to get into and like I really, really want to dive into. And so if I picked all fantasies this month, I wouldn't even mind that to be honest. But some other books I'm really excited for, um, Making Way Parks, I think Kristen Hannah reads here, Butcher and Blackboard is really high on my list. Um, the Addicted series, and then obviously some thrillers I'd love to get into as well. I'm we doing eight this month. I did eight last month, and that worked out pretty well. I still have one book left to finish on it because I'm filming this a week early, but I know I will finish that one, and I still had lots of time to read some other books as well. That's why I kind of like me picking eight because I'm a fast reader. I typically read like 15 plus books a month, but picking eight lets me have a lot of like, flexibility on what else I read. If I choose books for vlogs, etc., etc., it all kind of works out. Also, one thing about me why I love these videos so much if you guys don't know, I am like a completionist to my core where when I pick this TBR, this is what I'm reading. Like there's no ifs, ands, or buts. There's no like, oh, I didn't get to that one this month. Like if I pick it on this list, it will be read this month. Like I'm psychotic in that sense. <laughs> That's why I film this video a week in advance. That way I can look at the books I picked and try to get some video ideas for those books and then plan my schedule around what I'm reading. But like I said, I think we're gonna do eight. I'm super nervous. I like, except about all these reads, I'm still a little bit nervous about them. So pick one. I hope I don't get the same prompts I always get also, but mixed reviews. Ooh. Oh, you know which one I could pick? I'm sick to my stomach thinking about picking this book. I think we're gonna go with this one. <laughs> this book terrifies me because like I said, it's either you love it or you hate it. I find this book. And that's like where I see it's very 50-50, like love it or hate it. Oh my God. And I keep like honestly being tempted by this book and like wanting to reach it for it. So I think if I just put it on TBR, then I'll be forced to and I will pick it up. But this is terrifying. <laughs> this is really scary, but we're starting off April strong. We're gonna do it. That is a start if I've ever seen one. Okay, I'm really scared now. It's gonna pick two. No, no. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, it's a two for one. I'm gonna go for this one here. My camera did just cut out, but it is a new to me author that I picked. And there's a couple others in here I could go for. Um, so Robin Hobb, if I finally want to dive into the realm of the underlings, which I think I really want to do, that's a great choice. I have anything by Shelley Parker Chan for She Who Became the Sun. And then I haven't read Butcher and Blackbird. Um, is it Bryn Weaver? Jenny Jackson or Listen for Lie by Amy Tintera. But if I'm being upset honest, I'm thinking I really want I'm just picking like I'm just picking all the books that really terrify me apparently. Um I'm thinking I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do The Assassin's Apprentice. This is the first book in the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. Um and like this is the it's the first book also in like the realm of the underlings. So pretty much Robin Hobb has like five series all kind of within the same world. So this is the first trilogy in that world, but there's four, three other trilogies and a quartet. So it's a big undertaking, but I have this one. I want to see if I'm into it. So I think just reading this one this month will be good to kind of dip my toes in and see what I think of her writing, but we're going to do it. <laughs> this TBR is like all the books I'm scared to read. And I'm actually kind of glad I'm picking these all, so I have to read them, you know? I just have to do it, so. Pick three is red on the cover. Ooh, okay. So, already like right away what I'm seeing that's interesting me is Addictive for Now, Vicious. I didn't want to pick up Vicious until I was done the Shades of Magic trilogy, but now that I am, we totally could. Or also Listen for the Lie as well as my Book of the Month pick for this month. I could do that one, but I'm kind of want to do one of these two. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna do Vicious. I've heard like nothing but good things with this book and like every, like it's a five star for a lot of people and I'm very, very intrigued about what it's about. Also, it's just like a little duology, which I love and I feel like I'll already be like halfway through it. Whereas if I pick up third book in the 10 book series, I still have a long way to go. 
you know? But if I have a chance to pick this up again, I will. Don't get it twisted. This is already like a stack. I'm really, really excited, but I'm not gonna lie. Like every single of these books, like I'm like scared to read, but I want to read super bad. So I'm very excited. Okay, pick four. We have a, you can't see it. We have a freebie. This is like my favorite thing ever to pick. Okay, um, I'm gonna go to someone's that like I'm, I'm really like, I'm really thinking about picking. Okay, let's, let's go over them. Um, so addicted for now, obviously I would love to read that. Um, Butcher and Blackbird, I am super, super tempted by. I would love to read that. But I think this one, even if I don't pick it this month, it will get read anyways. You know, like I'm going to do it anyways. Um, the Dark Artifice is the first book. Lady Midnight, would love to keep. Like, I haven't read the Shadowhunters Universe book in a month now, I think. So I'd love to dive back into that. Um, the Atlas Paradox, I, I'm halfway through the Atlas 6 right now and I'm loving it. Um, or there is Hellbent. If you guys know, I just read um, Ninth House and Ninth House is a five star for me. So I could pick this guy up. But I would also finish off a little series as well. It's very tempting. Listen, though, I think my heart wants to be back in this universe so bad. Because here's the thing, I know I'm going to read Hellbent no matter what. That's going to get read. So I think I want to pick up Lady Midnight, this chonker. How big of it is this one? This one is, let's see, like 667 pages. So... She's a thickie. One thing we'll say about the Dark Artifices series, I don't really have any of the books around to show you, but all the spines for all the Shadowhunters Universe books are like a gray, dark tone, and then randomly the Dark Artifices is white. Maybe it makes sense to me when I read it, but it's just kind of like a little design thing I'm not the biggest fan of, but I've heard very, very good things with the series, specifically the second book, Lord of Shadows, so I'm really excited to get into this one. This is a gorgeous stack right now, because we have three fantasies, and like I said, I'm really in a fantasy mood, so that's exciting. Another book I don't have a physical copy of that I probably will pick up sometime this month also is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I have the book as an ebook, and I'm going to dive into like his world, but I don't have the physical copies of them yet. <laughs> I'm just like laughing. A 500 plus pages. So I could have just picked Lady Midnight for that, but it's fine. 500 plus pages. Okay, I don't know how many books I have in here that are 500 plus pages. Let's take a look. Burning God could be. Burning God is 600, that's definitely for that, but I'm not sure I'm mentally ready to read that book yet, if I'm being 100% honest. How big is Children of Fallen Gods? 600, another thicky. Hellbound will probably be like 450, won't it? It's gonna be just shy. It's 478, that's fine, that's fine, okay. So it's right now, like Burning God and Children of No Worlds are my best options. 390. I'm just gonna check. Sometimes pages can be deceiving, which I see how long this one is. 400, not even close. Um, how long is Addicted for Now? <gasps> okay. Addicted for Now is 508 pages. These two and Burning God, I think I'm more tempted to pick up this one next. And Burning God, I'm not quite ready for. So I think I'm gonna go with edited for now. But once again, this book will be read very, very shortly. This one also is on Kindle Unlimited. This might be a book I kind of like pick up on KU like as the month goes along, just like start reading it. I also had picked a lot of fantasy so far, so I want to make sure I have like some good romance fixes in there too. I really have two romances. I would love to pick up Butcher and Blackbird still. Maybe a thriller and the other one be a fantasy. We'll see. This is pick six. Someone else picks. Oh, this is so exciting. Okay. I'm not sure it's be the video, but one sec. Ty, can you come here for a second? Like my TBR video where I like use the prompts to pick my books yeah. and I pulled one that says somebody else picks. So these ones I already have picked for this month, but any book on the shelf I haven't picked yet uh, to read. One? This one or this one. So if you want, like you can like look at the books and like see what they're about, or I can just like <laughs> it's like leave with the camera. <laughs> Let's see. I like, do you want to know anything about them or are you just going to go purely off of like vibes and what the spine looks like? Mm, yeah, this paradox. Yeah, this paradox. Or, 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 oh, yeah, this paradox. That one? Yeah. That's a really good choice. Okay, I love that. He just picked the Atlas Paradox off of like purely vibes and I think the title. Um, I'm so excited about this because I actually ran to Indigo last night with like 15 minutes till they close and I live 10 minutes away to go pick this up because like I said, I'm going to go halfway through the Atlas 6 and I'm absolutely loving it. And so I just want to have this book on hand in case I finished it, or more importantly, when I film this video, so that it could be picked. So I'm really happy you went with that one. It is like just so gorgeous, and I'm in love with the first book so far. He did good. Good job, Ty. He did good. Go him. And that's our fourth fantasy book, so he knows in a fantasy mood, apparently, which is great. Okay, this is the seventh. A four-word title. 
Okay, so four words. I see one right away, but we're the only one. So four words we have, listen for the lie, or children of fallen gods are the only two. I kind of want to pick listen for the lie to make sure I have like a kind of thriller mystery in there. And because it was my book of the month pick and my goal this year actually now is when I buy a book of the month book, it gets read that month or the next month. And this is my book, like it's like my box from March. Obviously I didn't have it when I filmed my March TBR, but now I do have it for my April one. So I'm thinking I should probably pick this one. I do have four fantasies and I would love to get like a thriller mystery in there as well. So I think I am gonna go with listen for the lie for this one. Okay, this could be your last pick. Who knows, I might get crazy and pick one more because I sometimes do that, but. I love this stack so far, to be honest. It's like one of my favorite stacks when we're done. I don't say that like every month, but this genuinely is my favorite stack when we're done. Okay, last book. Flowers, trees, etc. on the cover. Okay. Let's see what I have here. Flowers, trees, etc. on the cover. Is it gonna have it? Um, okay, the blood trader has trees on it. We love to see that. Has houses, flowers. This one has axes, but nothing else. Okay. Winter garden has some trees on it. So does night road. Those are my options for trees in the cover is that there's trees on Night Road and on Winter Garden by Kristen Hanna. I do love Kristen Hanna. I didn't read one for books this month, so I'd love to throw one in for this month. Or The Blood Trader to finish off the Prison Healer series. Ah. If I don't pick it for this video, it's not the end of the world, and I can still read it. But... I think I'll do this. Also, because it's going to finish off this series as well, which I really want to finish this series off. So we're going to go with this one. All right, friends, I think I will actually cap it with those eight because honestly, these eight I'm like super, super happy with. And also some of them are a little bit thicker, so I'll make sure I can get up to them all. A couple on the shelf that I will definitely still probably pick up this one, so I'm really excited about them. I'll probably pick up Butcher and Blackbird. But like I said, because I still like, I'm filming this a week early and there's still a week left of March, there's also the chance that if I read my books I still have to read for this month, I can pick this up actually before April because I didn't pick it in this video. Um, also, Hellbent will definitely get read next month. Probably Children of Fallen Gods and at least one Kristen Hannah book will also probably all be read in the month of April as well. But let's go over the ones that I did pick. This probably won't be in order because I kind of forget what order I picked them in, but let's go with them. For a book I've heard mixed reviews about, I chose Magnolia Parks by Jessa Hastings. For a new to me author, I chose The Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. For a book with red on the cover, I chose Vicious by V.E. Schwab. For a freebie, I chose Lady Midnight by Cassandra Clare. For a book that was 500 plus pages, I chose Addicted for Now by Krista and Becca Ritchie. For somebody else picks, he chose The Atlas Paradox by Olivia Blake. For a forward title, I chose Listen for the Lie. And for a book with flowers, trees, etc. on the cover, I chose The Blood Trader by Lynette Noni, the last book in the Prison Healer trilogy. Okay friends, I say this every single month, but this is truly, I think, my favorite stack I've ever chosen for a TBR because this stack is stunning. I'm so excited for these. I'm starting quite a few series. I'm working my way through some series and this is just so exciting. Actually, now that I look at it, now that I look at it, I didn't choose a single book besides Listen for the Lie. That's not part of a series. So it's not the series apparently. If you guys like this video, please forget to like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel out so, so much. I'm also on TikTok at Angel's Book Corner. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.